So now to discuss and celebrate all the awesomeness in Historian 6. One thing that we will see right away as we install and activate the software is that from now on, you only need to log in that first time. And you're not having to re-log in anytime you want to connect with your Forever account. It has a fresh new look with new icons, as well as things that were obsolete that were still showing on Historian 4 have been removed. A couple of examples are Flickr and saving out to a CD or DVD-ROM. The facial recognition tool has been improved and it also gives you some time-saving processes where you can include all or exclude all and we'll cover that more on week one of the historian beginner class improved access to the forever storage account amazing so fun i was playing around with this i could not believe how i could just navigate right through all the work that i've done out in my forever account right through the historian interface so i could find the photos that i've tagged or put in albums very easily and i could pull them into historian and whenever i did that it marked the ones that I've imported that they were stored in forever. Another cool feature, something that hasn't been working for quite a while in Historian 4, is that I could import videos right from forever. So if you want to download your videos, you can do that now. Along with improving the facial recognition tool and the interface with forever, Historian 6 has offered us an advanced, perfectly clear, auto fix tools. You can see all the new filters that are available just like they are in Artisan 6. So we can take our photos to the next level with a quick click of a button. As you can see I am working in the light mode and some of this pop-up screens I have done screen captures in dark mode. So you can choose either one and you would have to close the software after you make that choice. When you are uploading files to your Forever Storage account, they've added a feature that will help some limited help on deduplication. And this is an area where they are working on improving even more in the future. The end goal, of course, would be for there to be a two-way sync between Forever Storage and Historian software. We're not there yet, but it's one step closer. We have updated the Facebook connector, so you can now download photos from Facebook. And if you do have difficulty with this, it might be one of your settings in Facebook. And that is something that I needed help with support. Don't forget that you can go out to forever.com and get chat support and help fix problems right away. And that reminds me that there is an improved help menu in the new program. It is so exciting to see all the options. You have a quick link to resources such as the Historian 6 FAQs, the Getting Started Guide, Online Help Center, as well as Pixels to Pages. They give you a link to contact them via phone or email, as well as a way to tell the engineers of the software some issues you are experiencing. Now on the notes, it says that you can only download from Facebook, you cannot share. I did post a video about how you can do a workaround and you can still share it on Facebook. You would just use the same process as you would when you want to print photos from a website. You would just put Facebook in instead of walgreens.com. One of the updates, not something that really is going to affect me, but maybe it affects you. Some people were not having the time and date show up when they were bringing in their photos. So in the item properties area, now the time and date should always show. They've also improved the process of merging cabinets that manually added tags are gonna be included. When you import your files from forever, the file name is not gonna be put in the tell your story area, which is great for me specifically because when I import my photos from forever, I'm not able to add the story when they're in Historian because it has the file name in each individual picture. So then it does not let me change the story since there's something different in each tell the story area. And this is something more that we can talk about also during week one of the Historian Beginner class. And lastly, there were some people having an issue with the preview image when importing from a scanner and that has been fixed. As we play with this software more and more, we will find more ways that it has been improved. 